Hey, Doug, I'm Sean from Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Today is the 20th of June, and we are moving right along. Uh, this month, things are uh, things are good, and uh, this will be a great opportunity for you as a baseball better, and if you bet some other sports, WNBA, CFL, World Cup, any of those, to start your winning streak. And here's how you can do it. It's real simple. Become a Vegas Pro Insider Daily member. It's only going to cost you $39 a month total. Okay, and with that, what you're going to get, you're going to get wise guy plays uh, from at least uh, three handicappers, uh, including myself. Uh, you're going to also get uh, other wise guy plays um, from, from a variety of uh, different sources with their uh, specialized picks and consensus wise guy selections. And you're going to get super systems that tell that are the best systems from that particular day. And uh, the top trends that are that are out there for that particular day as well, you're gonna get all that. Thirty nine ninety nine a month. That's the best deal that there is in sports betting, and this is the way for you to start your winning streak. All right, get after it. Thirty nine ninety nine. Vegas Pro Insiders Daily dot com. All right, let's get to some free picks for today. We ended up uh, three and two overall yesterday. We have four more for you for, well, not, I should say today. Actually, three are for today, and one is for tomorrow when CFL action. Uh, there's so many day games today. Wasn't going to get this video out in time to get the day games, so we're just going with the nighttime action. Starting out in the city of Pittsburgh, the Steel City. Pittsburgh and Milwaukee. Game three. Uh, series has been interesting uh, so far. Both teams have um, uh, split the, their two games, both low scoring games, uh, one nothing uh, Monday night with Pittsburgh, three to two last night with uh, with uh, with with uh, Milwaukee winning. So it's been low scoring affairs, and looks like betters are thinking it's going to be more of the same. The total has dropped from eight and a half down to eight, and the other part of the reason because there has been two low scoring games is the starting pitchers have been quite good. Uh, Brett Suter. Uh, in his has a 3.12, I think it is, ERA in his last three starts. And Chad Kuhl, Kuhl has a uh, 2.74 ERA in his last eight starts. So both have been in good, uh, have been very good of late. Sure, there's a possibility that, that one could have an off game, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I like the under here, and I'll also back it up with the idea that both bullpens uh, have, have been in good form, and each starting pitcher has an ERA under two in, in, against the other team. So I'll take the under in that one. Now we have a repeat from yesterday, Seattle and the New York Yankees. Now we had a total on that one, which we uh, got correct. We'll see if we can get two in a row here. Now last night, the Yankees offense, uh, I mean, their offense is terrific, but it's been a little, a little not so hot lately. I bet they broke out 7-2 to winner last night against Seattle. However, that still wasn't under with that 7-2 to score. Tonight, Felix Hernandez uh, is pitching for Seattle, and he's been... Inconsistent. No longer has the big fastball. Uh, the breaking stuff isn't as sharp. He walks more guys than what he used to. So he, he's been inconsistent. But he's ha he does he has had this season some good outings, and he's been terrific uh, against the Yankees. He's got a 3.04 ERA, uh, and he has an ERA I think around two. Yeah, yeah, two. Uh, when he anytime he's pitched in the Bronx, so he he's been very good. But despite that, the total has gone up from nine to nine and a half. Now uh, the Yankees are going to start Jonathan Losiga. I think that's how you say his last name. I don't know. I could be I could very well be wrong on that. So I apologize to any Yankees fans for not getting that right. But he's going to be pitched. And in his uh, rookie debut last week, he pitched five scoreless innings. No matter what his last name is. But he, he did quite well. Uh, but you know what? I like the under on this one. Yankees 16 and 2 under this month and 14 and 3 under if they have allowed four runs or less in four or more or in four straight games. So let's go with under on that. Next up, Tampa Bay at Houston. Uh, this one, the Rays snapped the Astros' uh, winning streak last night. Blake Snell outdueled Jason Verlander in a 2 to 1 game. Game, very good game, and there's enough baseball betters that I think we're going to get more of the same because they have dropped the total from uh, eight to seven and a half on this one. Uh, I can see the case as to why Tampa Bay's offense certainly has not been very good uh, of late, but the Astros are 15 and six over against a starting pitcher who has a WHIP of 1.20 or lower, and I. Th 
uh, and their offense was just cooled off really for the first time or you know close to the first time they have been terrific overplay the entire month of June I think they get right back on track here I think the, the over seven half is going to be the play now if you want to check out more information about tomorrow's CFL uh, Saskatchewan and Ottawa game in CFL action go to the Vegas Pro Insider Daily website to get my free pick and see all that information right there so hey that's everything I got for you I'll be back on on Friday, after spending tomorrow in Sedona, taking a little time off, so go spend a day in Sedona. So, hey, this is Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I am 